you wrap them in your jacket? <laughs> it's a little chilly today. So we're getting ready to go up the Space Needle. All right, guys, welcome to the elevator. This one goes 10 miles or 16 kilometers per hour. So the kids yeah. don't seem to be nervous about this at all, but it's stressing me out. <laughs> so apparently none of my children are scared of heights. I'm only able to do it because I'm on this beam. Kendra is walking on the beam. Yep, that would be really scary. <laughs> We did it! We found Pike's place! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Janae, this is a gum wall! Oh, are some people getting artistic with their gum? There it is. It's Janae! <laughs> this is like so ironic. Mama, I'm just trying, trying to, to take, take a picture. picture. Yeah. Science still works. It's beginning. There we go. There we go. Elise made it happen. Hi, baby. We missed you. We missed you. We're on the train getting to the gate. You guys ready for a late night flight? Kind of no ish. We're on a ferry again heading into Seattle, and we're the first car on the ferry. We're the very front one. Which means we were barely we missed. We were waiting a long time because we barely missed the other one. But this time we're going straight into Seattle, so I think it'll be fun to see Seattle from the water. Did you wrap him in your jacket? It's a little chilly today. Luckily, Sunny's got a fur coat on all the time. Space needle. There it is. You can see the space needle. Laura, that's the thing that pokes up over the side. Oh, yeah. See it? Yep. We're going to go up there later. A sailboat. A sailboat. Jeremy's trying to find a sitter for Sunny. Run rover. It's our first time trying to use that. We've done doggy daycare before, but we're just needing to play in the city for a day. We don't know if he can come along. But we checked out of our Airbnb this morning and it was sad to say goodbye to that beautiful view. We have one day to spend in what city? Where are we going? Do you know? Seattle. It's Seattle. Seattle. We have one day to spend in Seattle and then we're actually taking a red-eye flight tonight home. So uh, wish us luck. It's gonna be a little bit of a long day. Are you ready for it? A red-eye. It's where it's an all-night flight. Yep. And what do we do on an all-night flight? Sleep! Sleep! That's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. Headed back to the car. It's so windy. It is. And it's It's fun to see the process of how this works with the ferry. We got a front row seat and we're off. Bye, Jeremy. Bye. We'll see ya. Jeremy and Sunny just dropped us off. We are going to go to Pike's Place Market while Jeremy takes Sunny to a sitter that we found for the day. We did it. We found Pike's Place. Our first stop is restrooms. <laughs> oh, it's a used bookstore. Oh, I love the produce stand. This is so fun. Oh, it's fresh Alaska salmon. Look guys, these are all different kinds of oysters. And look at those crabs. And the mussels. Look, there's fresh bread at the bakery. We found the place that is famous for the throwing of fish. Oh my goodness. Helen Flynn! Helen Flynn! Janae, this is a gum wall. Everybody puts their gum on the wall. My kids have been training for this moment. They've been chewing their gum. Yeah, try not to touch anything else. There you go. Caleb has contributed. You wanna do it? There's Nene's gum. Ew, gross. Oh, are some people getting artistic with their gum? I wanna get artistic. I know you do. Look at this gum. 
What did she make? I don't know what I did. <laughs> the gum won't stick! Yay! She got it. That little bloop is Elise. <laughs> All right, we've got two more gum chewers. Oh my goodness. Ew. Laura made an L out of her gum. There it is. There it is. Very nicely done, children. Let's go. We are headed to the Pacific Science Center and we want to go up the Space Needle. But on the walk, we came across a park and the kids had to stop and play. I love it when big cities have awesome things like this right in the middle. I'm trying to get to that big slide. Whoa, all the way up there? Okay, keep going. Janae, are you coming down? Is it good to Janae? Going to the Pacific Science Center, you know we're a fan of the science museums. And with cousins, it's even more fun. Hello, Caleb. Today, I'm going to teach you all about life. No, it looks like the blue guy. What's his head? It looks so funny from over here. It just looks like my face. <laughs> and the trick is to put it in a little higher. Can move it? Yeah, you can. We can do ours sideways. Janae, are you building? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. How can I look like a Superman? Hey, leave it. Put your arms forward. You have to go like that. There we go. You do have two heads, which we can't reconcile. There we go. So leave it. <laughs> what are you building? I'm trying to make you with this nice piece. A monster truck? Okay. I can hear you. Janine is going to color a butterfly and then we are going to create it. <gasps> There's your butterfly. It's that was so cool. It's going to fly in your head. Again? There's dinosaurs. Turns out Levi and Lily are huge fans of dinosaurs. Yeah. That would be us. Two sauropods. All right, we're using the solar system scale. It shows that on Earth, Caleb weighs almost 70 pounds, but on the sun, he would weigh 1880. 1895. And on Pluto, you'd weigh 4.7 pounds. They're laying down for the laser show. It's beginning. Laura, did you like the laser show? It was so cool. Build a rigamajig that can lift something. So this is a single pulley, which means you will be pulling exactly how much that weighs. So now we're just going to put this up here and let's see if it makes it easier to pull. Okay, now try pulling it. It should take a lot more cord, but it should be easier. Yeah. Yep. Because every length that you pull here is doing half on each side, so it's making it easier as you go up. So every pull you add makes it lighter, but it uses more rope. Cool. Yay, <laughs> sign still works. <laughs> Does it make music? Yeah. You could almost do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with that. I know. And a lease guitar. <laughs> look at that. You connected the wires. If we take the wire off, look. It turns off. Because it has to move the electricity. Want to do another one? Yeah, you do Look, we turned it on. It's like a TikTok. Boing, boing. That's cool. Oh, almost. <laughs> And Melanie is deep in play. Well, I made a frame, and yeah. so I need something to go in my frame. Perfect. So. I love it. <laughs> Caleb's making a stop motion film. I want to do it after him. 
takes a long time. Oh, okay, let's see him. Did it fall? Yeah. Oh! Is it not for the hand? <laughs> Here's what Kendra has been most excited to see, the Tropical Butterfly House. Remember We want them to land on us. Wow. It landed right on her face. <laughs> it's so cool. Mom. Chrysalises. And chrysalises? On our Jay House Junior channel, we actually did a whole video on a book about Caterpillar becoming a butterfly. And it was really fun. So if you haven't gone over to Jay, oh, there's a butterfly right there. If you haven't gone over to Jay House Junior yet, we would love for you to come and check out some of the videos we're making for our younger audience. It landed on Michael's face. Oh, Take a picture of what's on your I can you take a picture. I can't. <laughs> Don't move. This is the one that oh was on gosh. the other person too. Oh my goodness. I like the dog there move. <laughs> <laughs> this is like so ironic. Mama, I'm just trying, trying to, to take, take a picture. picture yeah. <laughs> so this is like in a submarine. Can you actually see outside? Whoa. <laughs> You're making it work, Janae. You're doing it. Elise helped. There we go. There we go. Elise made it happen. I love this. Do you feel the vibration in there? All right, let me do. Can you hear it in there? Yeah, it's so much louder. It's like wiggling it. Watch. That's cool. I don't know how this instrument never took off. So we're getting ready to go up the Space Needle. There you go. There it is. This Space Needle was created around the time of the Space Race, and it was supposed to be an Eiffel Tower for the Space Age. So imagine needing to tighten that ball. So when it was first opened, it was topped by a natural gas column of flame. Ah! Oh, Tinder has a sneeze. Before Kendra sneezes, she makes this loud noise where she goes, uh. Wait, how do you do it? She can't do it, but it scares me. Yes, it was like a model. It's a Lego model. How long do you think it took to construct the Space Needle? Six three, months. Three years. Six months, three years. A year. One year. Two and a half years. I'm gonna go with years. five years and eight months. Okay, what's the answer? The answer is eight months. Oh, Isaac was the closest. All right, guys, welcome to the elevator. This one goes 10 miles or 16 kilometers per hour, making this a 41 second trip. <laughs> this is the best. Do you like this, Levi? Yeah, he's the best. <laughs> so it leans back. I like it. Laura, does this make you nervous at all? Oh my god. Yeah, Laura, do this. I, I get scared of it. So the kids don't seem to be nervous about this at all, but it's stressing me out. I just want to like hold on to all of them. The sound, the Puget Sound, that is the ocean. So Mount Rainier is out here poking through the clouds. So I was just looking for the Space Needle. 
And then I realized we're on it. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, that's like when you can't find your phone, but you're holding it. I'm like, where's the space needle? I can't, <laughs> can't find I, it. I had a friend who texted his mom, where's my phone? <laughs> it's like... In your what? hands. So we almost missed this. Downstairs there's a revolving glass door. <laughs> Because of the pulley system. That's so scary, do it. Crazy. She's coming. I couldn't walk out. Maybe I could like this. I'm only able to do it because I'm on this beam. Oh my goodness. Kendra is walking on the beam. That would be really scary. <laughs> So apparently none of my children are scared of heights, and I definitely am. I can only walk on the beams, and even then I had to have somebody like holding my hand to stay place. The height itself doesn't bother me, but the thought that it could shatter and I could fall down does bother me. So dying bothers you. Yeah, dying, you. it turns out, does bother me. <laughs> Look at the elevator. I'm only going to walk on glass all the way. This is a cool little restaurant spot. So this rotating room is really trippy. It's like, which part is moving? All right, now we have to go get sunny and then head to the airport. We're flying out to Puerto Rico. Welcome back to the elevator. Now the very tip of the needle is 60 stories, 600. We're trying to be seen. We're trying to be seen. <laughs> they can see us. Well, we packed a lot into one day in Seattle. It was awesome. And now we are heading to pick up Sunny and go to the airport for our red-eye flight back home to Puerto Rico. Honestly, I'm feeling a little bit emotional getting ready to leave our car. We have done so much in this van this summer. It has been such a trusty vehicle for so many years. And now the summer is kind of winding down and it's time to go home and gear up for school. that whoever that was um all right here's to hoping that there's some sleeping happening tonight hi baby we missed no, you we so... missed you i'm gonna have to go to the bathroom one more time good plan all right we made it now we're on the train getting to the gate all right we made it through security you guys ready for a late night flight Ish. Uh, no expression. Do you think you're gonna be able to sleep? Good night. Get your house out. We're there! All right, there's our house. There are also orcas, killer whales. In these waters. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells. I see something, guys. Janae is the one using the oars. All right, we're climbing down this crazy 